Hi, I'm Carmen with Projector People, and I've been here for 19 years, really long time. And uh, today we're going to talk about changing a lamp in your projector. So before we get started on that, just a couple tips for you on your lamps. To prolong lamp life, you want to make sure where, where you have your projector, either tabletop, shelf, hanging from the ceiling. You've got plenty of airspace around. We don't want it to get hot. We don't want lamps to overheat. Uh, the other tip would be have a power protector on your projector so that you don't have a lot of power surges coming in and shortening the lamp life. Uh, another thing we recommend is keeping a spare on hand. That's because it'll always go out either during the important football game or during an important meeting. So having a lamp, a spare lamp is always a good idea. So today we're working with the Mitsubishi Home Theater Projector, the HC7800. And this lamp is located in the front of the projector. Some projectors will have lamps to the side or to the back. So always consult your owner's manual so that you can find out where the lamp is located. We recommend when you go to change that you have a soft cloth down on the table, you've got your screwdriver, and you should be ready to go. Okay, so on this projector, we've got a little flap here in the front we remove, and don't lose it. And then we have to unscrew And while I'm doing this, most projectors do have a lamp. Uh, some DLP projectors will have a lamp but no filter. And with the filter, you do want to make sure it's nice and clean. You can take a can of air and blow it. You can take a vacuum cleaner with a soft end and lightly vacuum it. And in some cases, the lamp that you get from the manufacturer will have a filter with it and then you can replace the filter. In the case of this projector, there's no filter, just a lamp. Okay, so we've got a couple more screws inside here that we need to unscrew. And while I'm doing this, just so you know, there are a couple projectors out there that use the LED laser light source and they have no lamps at all. So you will not have to do this. Those are business projectors, not home theater projectors, just FYI. This particular lamp has a handle at the top that you use, okay? Some will have little finger grips that you can use as well. Um, what we want you to do is never touch the actual lamp, uh, the bulb section of it, because it would shorten the lamp life. All right, so we've got our new lamp and we're gonna seat it right into the housing section here and press it down. Make sure you've got it in the right spot. There's little uh, guides or little um, holes that you can line up in the case of this projector. And now we're gonna screw everything back down. And then we are going to put the cover back on. And the little screw that you did not lose, hopefully back into place and then the little cover and you are good to go after you've replaced your new lamp we just want to make sure that you go into the menu with the remote and find your lamp hours and reset it to zero and then you are all done and you're ready to project again thank you for watching